What's up subscribers? I am Matt Matthews and I am a boudoir photographer and educator here in Birmingham, Alabama. And today I want to talk to you guys about client closets and lingerie. If you are a photographer watching this video, then a client closet is something that you desperately need for when your clients come to your studio with some busted ass lingerie that does not look good in their photos. If you are a client that is potentially interested in a boudoir session, then this is going to help you kind of better prepare for your boudoir session for lingerie pieces that are going to flatter your body type and make you look amazing in your photos. Let's go. All right, so this is my lingerie closet here at my studio. On one side of the closet, we have our client closet. This is the stuff that clients can borrow throughout their session. Now, we hygienic up in this bitch, so we're not finna be sharing no kind of cootie juices up in there. So anything that you borrow from us, you have to wear your own underwear or we have some disposable underwear that you can put on as well. Um, this side over here is actually my lingerie line. So my clients can purchase these pieces. You can purchase them on my website at mattmatthewsphotography.com. The link will be below. Um, and either way, you can wear any of these pieces throughout your session. So the first piece of lingerie that I want to talk to you guys about is body suits. So bodysuits are one of my favorite pieces to wear in a boudoir shirt. Well, I ain't wearing it, but for you in your session and to be photographed is bodysuits. Bodysuits are going to cover up and conceal all of the areas that you're worried about during your session, um, especially if you're worried about your arms, if you're worried about your belly, things like that. Bodysuits are great to cover up those areas. Another piece of lingerie that I want to talk to you guys about is teddies. So teddies are a little different than a bodysuit, but pretty similar. So the teddies are going to have a little bit less than a bodysuit. They're going to cover a little bit less, like this piece here has the cap sleeves, so it's going to kind of be off the shoulder. Um, and then we go into two pieces. So we have two-piece lingerie. Um, if you are plus size, then um, two-piece lingerie that is high-waisted is very flattering for um, larger ladies. And then we have um, a, a couple of pieces back here that I want to talk to you guys about. So, color is really important in your boudoir photos and in your lingerie. A lot of the times we have clients that come in with some bright-ass red lingerie or some green or any kind of crazy thing that you might wear at home. That's okay, but it's not okay here. So this piece of lingerie right here is really red and it is 2001, oops, I did it again, Britney Spears. So we wanna stick away from that because all of these colors are going to pick up in camera a lot more than they are gonna be in person. So this is gonna be a lot redder and they're in your photographs and it's gonna be just looking at it. Same for um, patterns. Try to avoid crazy patterns. Um, all of those things are not gonna be flattering in your photos. For colors, I like to stick with um, neutral colors and dark colors. So these dark greens, this dark mauve, things like this are gonna be great for all of the color lovers out there. All right, another piece of lingerie that I wanna to talk to you guys today about to avoid is a baby doll. While they may be great for you to walk around the house in for your man or your woman or whoever the hell you walk around the house for, it is not good for your boudoir photos. <laughs> Your baby doll is not going to accentuate your curves. It covers your boobies and then it just kind of flows and my nose itching. Most of the time you're going to look like a big old sack of potatoes, let's be real. So it doesn't matter if you're small or skinny or if you're large or whatever you are, you want things that are going to accentuate all of the curves. So you may be thinking I'm a plus size model or and I, I can't really put on a bodysuit or things that are gonna squeeze me, but in reality, those things are actually gonna make you look a little bit smaller and they're gonna accentuate all of your curves and look great on your photos. All right, for all of my boudoir photographers out there, this shirt is all the angles, hashtag boudoir photographer. You can purchase this on my website at mattmatthewsphotography.com. And for my clients, our Hashtag I braved boudoir. So if you've done a boudoir session and you want to rep it, you can purchase this also on my website. Link is below. Got it. All right, you cut it. 
Are we back on now? Okay, if you are a boudoir photographer and you're struggling with lingerie and what to tell your clients to wear for their sessions, make sure to head over to my website and click on For Photographers and Documents where you can purchase my lingerie guide and explain to your clients what they need to wear and what is going to be best for their bodies and send it to all your clients so they know what to wear before they come to their session so they don't come with bad lingerie. You will thank me later. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the subscribe button below and stay tuned for more videos.